Why does the deck of an aircraft carrier never flood, even in the fiercest storm at sea? These massive sea-going fortresses are built to endure the fury of the ocean's worst tempests. But what makes them virtually unsinkable? And how do these advanced technologies safeguard both the crew and the aircraft stationed on board? The secret to an aircraft carrier's ability to weather such extreme conditions lies in its most critical architectural feature, the high freeboard. Freeboard refers to the vertical distance from the waterline to the deck of the ship, and on aircraft carriers, this measurement is particularly generous, often more than 65 feet. This impressive height acts as a vital shield, preventing seawater from swamping the deck, even when monstrous waves rise and roar during severe storms. While the ship might occasionally face spray and some water washing over, the critical operational zones remain secure and dry. Thanks to the high freeboard, the risk of the flight deck getting flooded is significantly reduced. Elevated well above the thrashing waves, the flight deck provides a steady and secure platform. Amidst the tumult of the storm, while the ocean churns and swells below, the aircraft carrier's operations can persist with enhanced safety and precision, ensuring that the rhythm of flights taking off and landing is maintained even under the most challenging conditions. This architectural marvel not only showcases human ingenuity in naval design, but also highlights our ability to adapt and overcome the natural elements at their most fierce. However, the remarkable resilience of an aircraft carrier in stormy seas is not solely due to its high freeboard. The flight deck is also equipped with an advanced network of oversized drains and gutters designed to handle enormous volumes of water quickly and efficiently. These are strategically positioned to channel water away from vital areas and toward the scuppers, giant drainage holes situated along the deck's perimeter. This meticulously designed drainage system ensures that any water that does make its way onto the flight deck is immediately redirected overboard, keeping the deck clear and operational. Even as towering waves crash against its formidable hull, the flight deck itself remains largely unaffected thanks to these robust design features. The synergy of high freeboard and this highly effective drainage system forms the backbone of the aircraft carrier's ability to maintain its operations in even the most hostile sea conditions. This comprehensive approach to design doesn't stop here. The entire structure of an aircraft carrier is a testament to decades of hydrodynamic research and engineering ingenuity. Its hull shape is meticulously crafted to cut through the water with minimal resistance and to disperse the energy of the waves, further ensuring the stability and safety of the flight deck. This not only preserves the critical functions of the carrier, but also protects the lives of those who live and work on this floating fortress, making it a true marvel of modern naval architecture. The design ingenuity of an aircraft carrier extends to the very front of the ship, where the bow is marked by a noticeable bulbous protrusion. This bulb plays a pivotal hydrodynamic role, subtly manipulating the flow of water around the hull to generate interference that reduces wave drag. The practical effects of this are substantial, enhancing the ship's fuel efficiency and enabling a smoother ride through tumultuous seas. This feature is particularly vital in minimizing wave slamming, a phenomenon that occurs when the bow of the ship plunges sharply into an oncoming wave, causing significant upward displacement of water. By mitigating this forceful interaction, the bulb helps reduce the volume of water that reaches the height of the flight deck, thus bolstering the vessel's seaworthiness. Additionally, the hull of the carrier often includes a pronounced flare below the waterline, an outward curve that further stabilizes the ship and deflects waves from the sides. This design not only enhances the stability, but also serves as an effective barrier, redirecting waves and minimizing the risk of water splashing onto the flight deck. Furthermore, even the flight deck itself is designed with subtle yet crucial water management features. It features a slight camber, or downward curvature from the center to the edges, which facilitates rapid runoff of any water that does collect. This camber works in concert with the high-capacity drainage system, ensuring that water is quickly and efficiently expelled from the flight deck. 
These thoughtful design refinements collectively ensure that the aircraft carrier can maintain its operational capabilities and protect its crew and aircraft even under severe maritime conditions. The sophisticated design of an aircraft carrier equips it to navigate turbulent seas with remarkable steadiness. The primary aim is not merely to withstand storms, but to remain fully operational during them, maintaining a stable platform that is crucial for the safe launch and recovery of aircraft. This operational capability is essential, especially during severe weather conditions when the ability to operate effectively can be critical to mission success and overall safety. For those who have worked or currently work on an aircraft carrier, consider the variety of roles required to maintain such a massive vessel during a storm. Each position comes with its own set of challenges, but which do you think is the most demanding? Managing the deck during high winds and pounding waves, perhaps, or ensuring the complex systems within the ship continue to function flawlessly? We invite you to share your insights and experiences in the comments below. Adding to the aircraft carrier's resilience is its advanced flight deck drainage system, specially designed to handle extreme volumes of seawater. This system incorporates several strategic elements that work in concert to ensure rapid and effective water removal. Large drains distributed across the deck optimize water capture, designed to handle high volumes and resist clogging, even amid storm-driven debris. These drains are covered with protective grates that prevent foreign objects from entering while allowing water to flow freely. From these collection points, water is quickly channeled through an extensive network of large diameter pipes specifically engineered for rapid transport to the ship's perimeter. These pipes are made from materials chosen for their durability and resistance to corrosion, a necessary feature given their constant exposure to seawater. Supporting this system are powerful pumps located below deck, which provide additional capacity and redundancy. These pumps activate to forcefully expel water when the standard drainage paths are insufficient, adding an extra layer of defense against potential flooding and safeguarding the structural integrity of the flight deck. This multi-layered approach ensures that the aircraft carrier can continue its operations uninterrupted, even in the face of the most challenging sea conditions. Of course, the effectiveness of the aircraft carrier's drainage system relies not only on its sophisticated design, but also on the rigorous maintenance and testing it undergoes throughout the ship's lifespan. Recognizing the system's pivotal role, technicians perform regular inspections and cleaning of its components to ensure it remains fully functional under any conditions the carrier might face at sea. This maintenance is crucial for maintaining operational readiness and ensuring that the system performs efficiently, particularly during extreme weather conditions when its functionality is most critical. Beneath the aircraft carrier's seemingly precarious top-heavy appearance lies the key to its remarkable stability. To understand this, one must consider the interplay of buoyancy, gravity, and strategic design. Buoyancy is the upward force exerted by the water displaced by the hull, centered at the geometric center of the submerged part of the hull, known as the center of buoyancy. This force is fundamental in determining the ship's stability. Equally critical is the center of gravity, the point where the weight of the ship is concentrated. Engineers meticulously design the carrier to ensure the center of gravity is positioned well below the center of buoyancy. This alignment creates what is known as a writing moment, a natural tendency for the vessel to return to an upright position if tilted. The carrier's flight deck and superstructure, which add height and could potentially shift the center of gravity upwards, are counterbalanced by significant weights placed low within the hull. These include ballast, heavy machinery, fuel tanks, and ammunition storage, all strategically positioned to lower the center of gravity. When the carrier encounters waves and begins to roll, the center of buoyancy shifts due to changes in the underwater shape of the hull. However, because the center of gravity is anchored by the deep-seated weights, it moves less dramatically. This disparity between the movement of the center of buoyancy and the center of gravity generates a rotational force, or riding moment, that acts to stabilize the ship. Furthermore, the wider the carrier's beam, the greater this writing moment becomes, enhancing the ship's stability. 
This is why aircraft carriers boast such wide hulls, to maximize the distance between the center of gravity and the shifting center of buoyancy, ensuring robust stabilization even in tumultuous seas. This clever engineering not only maximizes safety and operational effectiveness, but also showcases the intricate balance of forces that make modern naval giants like aircraft carriers possible. The vast width of an aircraft carrier's hull is more than just a feature to accommodate the sprawling flight deck and its myriad aircraft. It is a critical architectural element that enhances the vessel's seaworthiness. The extraordinary beam of the hull provides a high degree of stability, ensuring that the flight deck remains operational and safe, even in turbulent seas. This broad beam increases the ship's metacentric height, which can be likened to the fulcrum of a giant seesaw. The wider the support base of this metaphorical seesaw, the more force it would require to tilt significantly. This principle underpins the stability of a ship. Thanks to its immense beam, an aircraft carrier possesses a robust writing moment that effectively counters the forces of wind and waves that could otherwise cause the ship to roll. This inherent stability minimizes excessive movement on the flight deck, creating a more secure platform for launching and recovering aircraft, a crucial operation that hinges on the carrier's wide hull design. Operating on the flight deck of an aircraft carrier presents unique challenges, especially under the harsh conditions of rough seas. The continuous motion of the deck, combined with slippery surfaces and the formidable force of wind and waves, necessitates strict adherence to safety protocols and the use of specialized equipment. One essential safety feature is the perimeter safety netting that is rigged around the flight deck's exposed edges when conditions worsen. These high-tension nets are designed to withstand substantial forces, acting as a critical safeguard to prevent crew members from being swept overboard should they lose their footing. Additionally, flight deck personnel are equipped with specially designed safety harnesses that ensure both comfort and extreme durability. These harnesses include attachment points for strong tethers or lanyards that securely link the crew member to a designated anchor point on the deck. The tethers are designed to restrict access to the edges of the deck, while allowing enough freedom of movement to perform necessary tasks, ensuring that safety does not come at the expense of operational efficiency. These measures are vital in maintaining the highest standards of safety and functionality on one of the most dynamic and challenging work environments at sea. While safety nets and harnesses provide critical safeguards, they also highlight the harsh reality of operating on a pitching flight deck. The personnel aboard an aircraft carrier undergo rigorous training in safety procedures with specific protocols adapted to the increased dangers presented by stormy conditions. These protocols designate safe zones, dictate controlled movement patterns, and enhance awareness of potential hazards. Such measures are crucial for mitigating risk and ensuring the safety of the crew, the true heart of the carrier, allowing them to perform their essential duties even as the flight deck transforms into a tumultuous arena battling the elements. The real testament to an aircraft carrier's resilience is encapsulated in the historical record, where these maritime giants have faced legendary storms and emerged victorious. To truly appreciate the formidable strength of these vessels, consider the events of December 1944 in the Philippine Sea. Admiral William Halsey's Third Fleet was engulfed by the monstrous Typhoon Cobra. The storm unleashed winds that peaked at a staggering 140 miles per hour and waves that soared to heights of up to 70 feet, creating towering walls of water that dwarfed the carriers. While Halsey's destroyers suffered catastrophic flooding, and three were lost to the storm, the larger carriers, despite being severely battered, demonstrated remarkable endurance. Although some sustained damage, their core structural integrity and buoyancy remained intact. Such instances of survival are not isolated events. Throughout history, aircraft carriers have withstood devastating cyclones in the Indian Ocean, fierce gales in the North Atlantic, and unpredictable storms in the Southern Oceans. Time and again, these stories affirm that the combination of massive size and expert design provides a formidable defense against the ocean's formidable wrath, showcasing the unmatched capability of aircraft carriers to not only survive but continue operating effectively in the face of nature's most severe challenges.
Indeed, modern weather forecasting technologies afford aircraft carriers advanced warnings of major storm systems, allowing crews to prepare and, when possible, to avoid severe weather. However, the nature of critical missions or the sheer unpredictability of weather patterns sometimes necessitates that these ships face these challenges head on. It is in these moments that the years of meticulous design and robust construction of aircraft carriers are put to the ultimate test. A significant advantage for modern carriers is found in their propulsion systems. Equipped with powerful engines, today's aircraft carriers possess unparalleled maneuverability. This allows captains to adjust their vessel's positioning for optimal seakeeping, maneuvering to face waves in a manner that minimizes impact and helps stabilize the flight deck. In times of need, these massive ships not only stand as marvels of maritime engineering, but also as beacons of hope. They play pivotal roles in humanitarian missions, providing crucial support in the aftermath of hurricanes and other natural disasters. Their expansive decks serve as landing zones for helicopters, facilitating the delivery of aid and the execution of disaster relief operations. The resilience of an aircraft carrier is not merely a product of fortuitous design, but the outcome of systematic planning and generations of naval engineering expertise. Teams comprising naval architects, dynamic specialists, and material engineers collaborate intensively. They use advanced modeling software to perfect hull forms for stability and seakeeping, meticulously calculate weight distributions, and refine myriad details that contribute to the ship's structural integrity. Prototypes of these designs undergo rigorous land-based testing to replicate the stresses experienced in harsh marine environments. The culmination of this exhaustive process is observed in full-scale shock trials that validate each ship's capability to endure and perform under extreme conditions. This comprehensive approach ensures that the flight deck of an aircraft carrier remains impervious to flooding even in the roughest seas. Now that you've heard about the many facets of aircraft carrier design, which do you think is the most crucial? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode.